people find dozens of reasons to visit the Sandy Hook unit of Gateway National Recreation Area. The peninsula is over 2,000 acres within the site of the Manhattan skyline. Each year, over two million people flock to this national park to swim, surf, and fish, or simply relax in the sun on seven miles of spectacular ocean and bay beaches. More than a recreational paradise, Sandy Hook is also among the busiest, most important bird sanctuaries in North America and one of New Jersey's best year-round birding areas. As a major migration path for birds in both spring and fall, it has attracted approximately 347 bird species to a richly diverse habitat of ocean and bay beaches, sand dunes, mud flats, forests, freshwater ponds, salt marshes, and fields. If you visit Sandy Hook in the spring or summer, you must see the ospreys, among nature's most magnificent and inspiring creatures, and one of the best fishers on the planet. After wintering in the south, ospreys return here every year like clockwork between March 25th and 27th to begin their fishing and nesting season at the Jersey Shore. Male and female ospreys usually mate for life and normally return to the same nest every year and what nests they are. Built of sticks with softer materials lining the inside, the nests often measure three feet deep and five feet in diameter. Ospreys usually nest high in trees, on rocky outcrops and utility poles, but to help increase populations on Sandy Hook, the National Park Service has erected several nesting platforms, which the ospreys seem to appreciate. We watched an osprey fly down onto the beach when it was collecting nesting material in the spring, and it grabbed uh, someone's beach towel, a big, bright, colorful beach towel that was wet, and it could barely pick it up, but it flew off. And uh, the ospreys will use some pretty colorful materials like brightly colored rope and, and other things in their nest. Nests are always within sight of water because survival depends on catching fish. Watching ospreys die for fish is one of the most dramatic events in nature. Ospreys live on every continent except Antarctica and they look the same all over the world. Some people call the osprey a fish hawk, but it's not a hawk. And although the size of an eagle, it is not an eagle either. Even its Latin name is misleading, which means bone-crushing eagle. But it more describes the bird's brute strength. Scientists classify the magnificent osprey separately because it is truly one of a kind. Just imagine a raptor two feet tall, weighing up to four and a half pounds, with a wingspan as wide as six feet. It can see a fish from hundreds of feet in the air, dive at speeds reaching 45 miles an hour into water up to three feet deep, catch a live fish equal to its own weight, and then fly back to its nest. One of the year's most spectacular sights is the male's courtship dance, also called the fish dance or sky dance. After briefly treading the air, the male dives down a hundred feet, treads air again, quickly rises, and repeats the wild acrobatics to win the female. Mating takes place in the nest and is fast and furious. Within a week, the female usually lay between two to four eggs which she incubates for 35 to 40 days before they hatch. Covered in down and weighing only about two ounces at birth, chicks begin to grow feathers almost immediately. Cries for food are loud and constant. Males keep busy fishing, return to the nest and hand off to the female. She pins the fish in her powerful talons, rips off small pieces and skillfully feeds her youngsters. After five to seven weeks, the fledglings begin to test their wings. And after some nervous practice, 
one suddenly swoops into the air. The juveniles instinctively start fishing, but it takes a lot of practice before they become expert. There are a few things people can do to help the ospreys. One is to obey all the signs that you may see posted around the areas of the osprey nests. The human interference sometimes can interfere with the birds nesting there and they may, it may cause abandonment. Get involved with uh, protecting water quality. Uh, the uh, water quality reflects well as far as the fish goes. The more fish there are around, the more food ospreys have and the better the long range outlook for them is. Uh, another thing you can do is to pick up your garbage that you find or that you see laying on the beach. Um, the monofilament line or the garbage bags often get entangled in the bird's legs and can often cause death. Another project that some scout troops have been involved with and local environmental commissions and other organizations has been the construction and placement of osprey platforms in various wetlands to encourage them to start nesting in new areas. To help protect ospreys, the National Park Service, in association with the Endangered and Non-Game Species Program of the New Jersey Division of Fish and Wildlife, have a banding program that monitors where the bird travels, their approximate age, where mortality occurs, and at what age. The process itself is actually relatively simple. We put a ladder up to the nest, somebody climbs the ladder, they retrieve one of the chicks down from the nest. We take one of these bands, we place it around one of the legs of the bird, we put it so that the numbers are facing upwards so we could read it with a spotting scope. We then put the bird back up in the nest and the banding process is complete. By late summer, juveniles are nearly as large as their parents. Although they have checkered, dark white feathers, in late summer to early fall, the parents take off for the long migration south. Most of the North American ospreys winter in South America. The young linger a while longer to enjoy the Jersey Shore fishing and build strength. Then, prodded by instinct and guided by an internal compass, they begin the flight south. Unlike their parents, the juveniles do not return north the following spring, but remain in the south, growing stronger until the spring of their third year. Then they return north, often to the area where they were born, and begin making little ospreys of their own. The number of ospreys in the last few years has increased at Sandy Hook. We have uh, more ospreys nesting at Sandy Hook now than we have had ever before. We've seen progression of increasing populations of the osprey and the future is looking promising. <laughs>